Welcome to today's Amuna Minute. I want to share with you a beautiful insight about the Seder. We know that the Seder, the Seder, the name Seder comes from the fact that there's an order. There's a Seder. We have a number of things that we do throughout the first night of Pesach, Kadesh, Orchatz, Karpas, Yachatz. Of course, on the most basic level, these names or these words are there to help us remember the order of the Seder. But we also know that each of these terms, each of these words, each of these simonim, these signs, also carry with them a beautiful metaphorical meaning. And the great tzaddik, the Imre Emes, the Ger Rebbe, says something truly beautiful. He says, if we look at the first two simonim, Kadesh Orchatz, so we know Kadesh is Kiddush, Orchatz is we wash our hands. One of the intriguing things to do at the night of the Seder, that even though we don't normally go ahead and wash before consuming a vegetable or a food item that comes in contact with water, but Halach Lamais on the night of the Seder, Kadesh Shishla Tinokos, one of the things we do in order to arouse the curiosity of the children is after we dip the karpas, we go ahead before we eat it, we wash our hands. Okay, so Kadesh, Kiddush, and then Orchatz. But the Imre the Gera Rebbe says there's such a profound Yisod. He said normally in life, when one wants to self-actualize, when one wants to become holy, the proper order is Orchatz Kadesh. Orchatz means to wash oneself, to wash, to cleanse. In general, if I want Kadesh, if I want Kiddush, if I want holiness, the first step is to usually identify that which is holding me back and to go ahead and wash that away. Release myself from it. Throw it away. Get rid of it. Right? The, you know, Chazal have a term. They call it Tova V'sheretz Biyado. A person is ritually impure. They go to the mikvah. There's only one problem. I'm holding a rodent, a dead rodent in my hand. Excuse the imagery. Right? So obviously you can go up and down in the mikvah as many times as you want. But when you're holding the source of impurity in your hand, it's impossible to become cleansed. So therefore, says the Imre Emes, normally, the first step to Kiddusha, the first step to personalistic holiness, is identifying what's making you impure, what's holding me back, what's the negativity, what are the things that are endowing me with a certain sense of spiritual uncleanliness. So normally in life, it's first Urchatz and then Kadesh, wash away the impurity, wash away the uncleanliness, wash away the things that are holding you back, and then, and only then, Kaddish, can you have Kiddusha? Yet, on the night of Pesach, it's radically different. On the night of Pesach, what do we do? Kaddish or Chatz. There's an ability to become holy. There's an ability to become Kadosh, even though I have not yet changed anything about myself. Even though I have not yet wiped away or washed away anything. I haven't stopped anything. I haven't released anything. I haven't let go of that proverbial sheretz, of that rodent, of that negativity that's in my hand. Yet it's still Kaddish first and says the Imre Yemes because think about it. This is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu did for our ancestors. Our ancestors, Chazal tell us, did not really deserve to be redeemed. They weren't especially pious. They weren't especially holy. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu saw deep inside of them there was holiness yearning to come out. There was goodness that was trying to break the surface. There was so much light that was eclipsed by so much darkness. But it was there. It was there. And it was ready to come out. The entirety of Pesach is Kadesh. The ability HaKadosh Baruch Hu saw our holiness. Even though we did not yet do Orchat. Even though we didn't really change. And says the Imre Emes, this is the power of the first night of Pesach, each and every year. First, first, there's Kadesh and then Orchatz. Pesach is the time we recognize our personalistic holiness. Even though I haven't yet made the changes I need to make, there's still a Sharetz in my hand that I need to get rid of. There are behaviors I have to stop. There are lifestyles I have to stop. There are things that I'm doing that just are not in conformance with the person I want to be or, or my true spiritual identity. But at the end of the day, I don't have to do that before finding my Kiddusha. The beauty of Pesach is the ability to find the holiness which resides within, even though I have not yet made the necessary changes. And I think the truth is it's a beautiful lesson because they're kind of connected. Because often in life, the reason we don't make the changes we know we need to make is because we don't really believe that they're necessary. Not that they're not necessary that I know I have to stop doing certain things or I have to change certain things, but because like, who am I? I'm an ordinary guy. I'm a regular person. 
There's no motivation. You know, change usually requires some type of motivation. Am I really motivated here? Do I really believe in myself? And comes the night of the Seder. And we remember that Hashem believed in us even though we had not yet made any changes. And then I open up my Haggadah and what do I see? Amazing. Kadesh and then Orchatz. That doesn't make any sense. It's Orchatz and then Kadesh. First you have to make the changes then and only then in the Zerah Kedusha, but not on Pesach night. On Pesach night I could find my holiness, my inner holiness that's always there even though I've not yet made one dramatic life change. But I think it's the knowledge that my holiness is there, despite the fact that the sharet is in my hand, which gives me the courage to change. It's the recognition of the Kaddish that ultimately gives us the confidence to do the Orchats. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.